Right, I've gotten a little further here on my bus. Now I've got a long way to go, but um, it's just too hot to try working on this. I'm too exhausted after work whenever I get done. Pull this seat forward here. Took the cover panel off there. So I'll probably take this out. Really don't need a pull rod. Got one on the other side, the right hand side. Got another one right there if I keep it. Found out that seat swivel doesn't work with the floor. May have to drill out a hole. I don't know. Hopefully I don't have to bolt in something new. Want to find a replacement seat for these because this thing sucks. The motor's broken. So, but yeah, pull this one all the way forward about at least a foot. Um, once that's out, it'll be easy to just sit right there, kind of kick your feet up. Um, and these seats I've swapped out, they were red. That's just a fold away one, which is different than this, but they looked almost identical. But I had these extra. I've got a couple ones without the armrest. Um, but now I've got two with armrests. So that'll be nice. This one's got an armrest. Um, what I'm planning to do with these is probably either take that bottom cushion off and try and turn it into a bed. And then that extra one back there becomes one facing that way. And then I'll try and do some sort of mattress in between. That's a possibility. Because um, then at that point, too, I could also just keep the seats and try and do it kind of like a dinette set. But fold away, which would be awesome. That's just being held up with <laughs> bits of pop can. Um, a piece of cardboard. But yeah. I do kind of like these seats. Push that down. Twist that forward. That pulls up. So if I get rid of this, I'll have to pull these off. Pull the foam completely off the front of that. So I'll probably just make some kind of cushions, kind of like those cushions there that fit on this. So I bought a used Max Air fan from a guy that used to work next to me. Um, I'd like to see if he has any information on his bus build. He's got at least one on his. He's got a newer one, um, like 2008 up. It's a little bit shorter, I think. Uh, he did wood all over the inside. I, I, it wasn't done. He was just moving out of his apartment that day. Gave me a good deal. Paid 60 bucks for that. Scuffed or not. Um, it's worth it. <sighs> got some cardboard window covers for now. Uh, some of these windows are different sizes. I didn't realize that. So that's having to be held in with a tab. Again, that's until I try and get something a little more permanent. Thinking about trying to do some wood, i got to figure out how to do that across the top and then put curtain rods on it. Um, has some LED lights pointing at the ceiling and um, thinking about doing it to where I have speakers on both sides pointing out these little slide open windows. So kind of have one like here and there pointing outside or maybe just one back there since that whole thing opens. And also, since there's no screen on this, I'm thinking about building a little frame to go in here. Something that I can use to keep bugs out. So, I've got some screen material because I want to be able to not get bugs in here. They're coming in right now. Um, AC kind of works. I don't know what's up with it because it's making loud noises. It might just need a new fan motor. Um, bench seats from a dinette set in a pop-up trailer. Uh, propane tank. That's my little... I don't know what size that is. A little smaller than 
usual. Twenty six pound. So that guy will be nice to use with my cooktop. This is one of my cooktops. So I've got this one. I paid a little bit more for it than the other one, but it's got big burner, small burner. Looks a bit nicer, but you do need 110. I don't know if it has to run, if there's a safety on here where it'll shut off or not. Um, shouldn't be a big deal because I've got power inverters. I've got my 600 watt and then I've got a little one that just plugs into the cigarette lighter. So shouldn't be a problem to use that. Um, I might end up painting these cabinets. I got them at different times. This one uh, doesn't have anything real nice, but it's got a big drawer. This one has the soft closed lid on it. Soft closed front. So like that, maybe I'll try and do that to this one. Um, only issue is, is, you know, this is a wood finish. This is a manufactured wood finish. Uh, this will have to be cut down to be the same size, but I'm thinking about when I take that out, um, just having this be a whole cabinet going across. Not sure if I want to do something in the middle. Kind of would like to have the cooktop over here, but I'm not going to be able to use that if I do it. Otherwise, I'll just take the drawer out, screw it closed, put that on the top, maybe just the sink too, and then just do magnetic doors. I've got some extremely hard magnets. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at on this. Nice thing about this is, is it's got that, um, can't remember what that is, that track right there. Um, you can get that stuff at Home Depot, wherever. Gonna try and figure out where there's leaking there. Don't know if it's from up top or around the window. Um... Not leaking too much. I'm going to put a floor in here. Just partial floor. Not all the way. I spilled a drink there, so I need to clean that up. But um, Just trying to figure out what I want to do. If I just put the floor up to here, go all the way back. Thinking about a closet in the back there. And then the kitchen side here. May or may not keep those seats. And then... Just a bunch of storage. I am thinking about doing like a raised um, area where it would be um, kind of a platform. Maybe have some of these tubs underneath for a shower. Just a sit down shower because I don't need anything fancy. But place where I can shower on the inside whether or not it's hot, cold, whatever. Um, and then also put the toilet in there, but it's it's not going to be a full shower. It's going to be something that I can use for later. So I don't want to waste a bunch of room for a shower if I'm not going to be using it all the time. So I might make it like a little closet and then have a uh, like shower curtain inside there. And then just put some paneling on the side so it doesn't leak. And then have, uh, have some drainage underneath. I'll do like a washer drain pan in there. Basic, simple, cheap. But um, yeah, those are my thoughts. That's what I'm planning to do. Again, I don't think I'll do anything with the roof, just because I don't. I don't need to. Um, I might do some vinyl over the top. That's a thought. I might do just some wood vinyl because I don't need the extra weight. And that stuff would stick on super easy. Um, it'd just be probably difficult to hold it up in place. But there we are. There's my ideas. This thing's pretty nice. This little hammock chair. I paid $31 for it at Walmart.com. There was a sale. But uh, it holds my butt. Holds 250 pounds. 
I was just more worried about this holding up, but it seems to do fine. I'm not jumping up and down in it, but um, I also might hang it from the ramp there, the lift. So we'll see. It works now. It might be just nice to relax in this thing. Wondering whether or not I need to do more supports up there. But, uh, like I said, it's holding me now. So, thanks for checking in. I got a lot more to do. Um, we'll see in the near future. We're going camping this weekend. So, I'm going to be bringing people with me. Trying to split some gas. But, uh, I need to work on the stereo and stuff. So... Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any ideas. Um, if you have any thoughts about what would work better, like I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, how to do it there. One nice thing is this little lip here. Maybe I can put something in there for mounting purposes. I just have to figure out where I'd have to go up here to not damage anything. So without pulling the ceiling panel off. I don't, I don't want to screw anything up. So thanks.